Hey everybody, I hope you're all doing well. I'm doing fantastic. Um, I haven't been updating as much because I'm having some computer issues, but hopefully that'll get sorted out soon. Uh, before I go into the video, because I do have a couple pretty big updates, um, I want to mention that there is a very special link in the description box of this video. Um, basically, the link is going to take you to a survey. Now, this survey is conducted by Ivaclar Vivident, and they are a dental manufacturing company. They make the products, and they sell those products to dentists. And you may think, well, what does that have to do with me? You know, it has a lot to do with you because these are the products that you love and that you use. And this uh, particular survey is um, geared more towards the um, consumers of removable prosthetics or dentures. Um, things of that nature and so let's just say the standard in the dental world was to make pink denture teeth well the only way they're gonna know that we think that's totally inappropriate is if we tell them by giving them information so that's what this survey is all about um, you'd really be doing a big part in helping improve the the quality of um, dental products that you're gonna use one day so click on that link below and take a few moments to fill out that survey. Um, they're not collecting any kind of like personal information or anything like that. This is like a an anonymous type of survey. I've taken it. Um, so they're not fishing for your data or selling any kind of information to any third party companies or any of that jazz right there. Um, what else? Um, and they're not trying to sell you anything in the survey or anything like that. So it's not any kind of gimmick or whatever. Um, that's that. Whew. The next update is that today was a very special day. My mother-in-law had all of her teeth extracted and she got her dentures. No sir, Mr. Lind. She got her dentures today. Um, she's been wanting them for a while. Now when I met them in 2006 and I came into their family, uh, my mother-in-law had, you know, some nice looking teeth. She had, you know, she, they aged with her, but they aged well and everything like that. They weren't perfect, but they, you know, they did what they were supposed to do at that point. Um, then it's just like once you get one cavity, if you don't get it taken care of, like, right then and there, then it's just a snowball effect that just starts to gain momentum. And before you know it, you've got a mouth full of chaos. It's just like total anarchy in your mouth and everything and so that's where she was at right now my mother-in-law is a strong filipino woman okay she is pretty serious she's something serious she's like one of the strongest women i know very very hard worker my god she puts me to shame um she, she's tough you know and she was even pretty nervous about this and i'm saying that just to kind of reassure you guys if you're on the fence about this and you know that it's something that you have to have done Pretty much all of us are kind of nervous about this. You know, like I've said before, I talked to hockey players about this, and we know how brutal hockey players can be, you know. Um, no offense or anything like that. You guys are awesome. You all are tough. But, you know, everybody gets nervous about this because it's not something that you plan for in life. You know, you plan for a lot of things in life, and you sort of mentally prepare for these big milestones. But... You know, in our in our timeline of events of what we anticipate happening in our life, I don't think most of us have, okay, I need to plan on losing my teeth one day and getting dentures. You know, we just don't plan on it. And so pretty much to sum it up, it's just because we don't know what to expect. We have no idea what to expect. And so we fear the unknown. Even if it's something fantastic, you're going to have a little fear and it's normal. Uh, the next update, oh, Wow, jumping the gun here. Let me tell you how she went. Uh, she did really good. There was an extra surgery that um, was involved with hers because, you know, most of our mouths are, you know, kind of like this. That doesn't look like the top of mouth at all. <laughs> Straight up. I'm so sorry I did that demonstration. My mother-in-law has a mass of tissue on her palate that sometimes happens you know it's not common but it's not totally rare so if you are one of the people out there that has that you know lump or mass of tissue in the middle of your upper palate or whatever um, it happens but from what Dr. Davis told me uh, it's best 
in his opinion, um, so everybody has different opinions, to remove that in order to create a, a better surface for the denture to adhere to, to, you know, create that suction there and just not complicate the process. And so she had to have that removed. So she's kind of in a considerable amount of pain right now. Um, she's taking her pain medicines and everything like that. She's at the house. Um, I made her a smoothie before I came over here to do this video. So she's doing really good. And from what I saw, the teeth look fantastic. You know, they looked great. You're not really going to be able to get a, a totally accurate idea of what everything's going to look like because, you know, there's blood, there's gauze. It's just crazy. And so, you know, you're not going to look like that forever, but... From what I could tell, from what I saw, the teeth themselves look nice, and that's very awesome because neither her nor myself were involved in that process. Um, so Dr. Davis had total creative control over that, but I really trust his his judgment because he's made some really awesome looking dentures. He made both sets of uh, my dentures, and he made my mom's, and so this is another another home run here, from what I can tell so far. So I will keep everybody updated as to how her process goes and if anything, you know, unexpected happens or anything like that. Um, hopefully I can get some kind of pictures. I didn't want to bombard her and, like, be paparazzi, like, today because, you know, she was nervous. and didn't want to get all up in her area with the camera and stuff. But the next update is that my last update, I mentioned that I went to Gainesville and they told me that I had to have some tissue removed. Now, as a recap, this area right here around this implant where I had the abutment come loose and I had to fly back out to Vegas to get that fixed. Um, there's skin there. There's excessive tissue that needs to be removed in that area um, because it's it's causing problems with cleanings because I can't access that area. You know, it's just the gum is touching the bridge. It's spilling over and there's no entry point over there because with your bridges, with with the all on four bridges, you have to have that space. There cannot, not even one spot. You can't have your, your gums like touching the bridge because how are you gonna get that area clean? And then when bacteria gets in there and starts, you know, colonizing your mouth and everything like that, it can lead to all kinds of like nasty infections and implant failure and that's what you wanna avoid. So if you notice any blockage, like I said in the last video, you know, you may think that it's okay right now, but as things progress, it may not be okay, so you need to have that addressed. And what they're going to do is they're just going to remove that extra tissue um, and smooth it down so that it doesn't touch the bridges, pretty much. And then I'll be able to get in there and clean them better, and I'll do my video where I show you how I clean them and everything like that. So that appointment is for next week. And I ain't going to lie, I'm kind of nervous. Like, I'm scared of shots. I don't like the shots. Like, that, that's the thing that freaks me out the most about dental work is those shots because it, you know, they suck. They're not fun at all. They, they sting, and it feels like a lot of pressure, but it's so quick. And so that's what I try to keep telling myself is that the shots are nothing. I mean, I've been through way worse, and um, I just want everything to go good. I'm going by myself, and... I'm fidgeting here because I, I am nervous, but I'm going to keep you guys posted on how all of that goes um, and if there's any problems or whatever, whatever. So I think that's pretty much it. So um, you guys take care. And the last part was for the people who think I post really long videos because you're right, I do, but I have more to talk about. And I need to go ahead and say it right now um, while we're on the subject and everything before I freak people out again. Um, I'm not trying to scare anybody. You know, I said that in my last video because whenever I come on here with, like, an update of an issue that I'm having, like, people kind of take it as, like, there's something wrong or, you know, gosh, it just seems like she's always having problems with her implants and stuff like that. And I'm going to give you guys a good comparison because, like, you know, Dr. Martin, the dentist that I'm going to see next week in Gainesville, he kind of compared dental work to building a house and that's a very good comparison because I don't watch TV. I don't like watching TV. I like watching documentaries but I don't really watch a lot of TV programs or anything like that. Cosmos, that's a good one. Um, I'm rambling now.
when I watch TV, I watch HGTV. Now, I know a lot of you women out there watch HGTV. Um, a lot of men, too. You know that one, what is it? The, the, the one with the brothers, the property brothers, I think it's what it's called. And, you know, they're, they're on this budget, and they're trying to show these people what they can get for the money and everything like that. You know, they've got different options and stuff. And so the people, you know, see the, the final product, and it just it looks amazing. They're like, how could you take that and turn it into this? That's awesome. And then, you know, if you've got a set amount of money that you want to spend on it. And everything's great at that point. But then you always get into it, and then there's something that they discover that they were not aware of before. Like there's as asbestos in the wall or something, or the, the pipes need to be replaced, or you know, some kind of weird off-the-wall like issue that they just were not expecting. And you know, you kind of want to be like, dude, get it together. Like you couldn't see that. But at the same time, it's like, no, you really can't. A lot of things you can't tell until you really get in there. And that's life you know that's life so it's no different really with dental work now I'm not saying you should always anticipate there to be all kinds of complicated problems and stuff like that but if there is you need to understand that you can't totally pin that on the dentist do some dentists take advantage of the situation absolutely and that's with everybody there's always going to be someone out there that wants to take your money and take advantage of you and treat you badly is that the majority no, it's not, you know? And so I think it's unfair to really put these dentists in that category as these, you know, sharks that are out to just attack and take all of your money. Because I don't think it's like that. I just think that, you know, they're in a very, very intense profession where, you know, there's a lot of responsibility on their shoulders and they can't control the outcome all the time they can't you know they can they can do their best and I think that most dentists do do their best but you know sometimes when they get in there they discover like with my mother-in-law you know she could have complained and been like why why are you gonna do that you know why are you gonna remove that extra tissue because that's that's an extra procedure it's extra money it's something that she did not plan for you know in her mind she's thinking get the extractions get the teeth pulled get the dentures boom done Sometimes it's not that simple. Now, she could have went against the dentist's um, suggestion and been like, you know what, I want to save some money, and I'm not worried about that. A lot of people don't have to worry about that. I'm not going to worry about it either. I'm going to press my luck, and we're just going to go ahead and do it my way. And then you do it your way, and then your way wasn't the best way, and you have all kinds of problems, and then you want to go back to the dentist and be like, you know, what's up? What happened? Well, that's what they're having to deal with. You know, and so I just feel like we need to show a little bit more understanding when it comes to dental work. I share these updates with you guys because that's just what I do. You know, I get on here on YouTube and I give it all away. Like I tell everything, every little minor detail I'm going to share with you because I want to be that person that, you know, keeps people informed of what they could possibly expect. And it's not in any way, shape or form to like freak you out and make you think that, you know, implants are bad or dentures are bad or whatever. It's just, it's life and there's going to be these bumps in the road. And if you don't have a positive attitude and say, you know what, I'm not a complain about this. I'm going to face it, I'm going to handle it, and I'm going to go at it with a positive outlook because there's nothing else to do. You know, if this is what has to happen, like next week I have to go to Gainesville, if that's what has to happen, what am I going to do? I mean, there's no amount of sitting there complaining about it that's going to change the situation. I could sit there and complain right up until I lose an implant. But, you know, it's just it's kind of the way things panned out. And so I'm good. Don't worry about me. Like, I, I don't feel like I've had, like, a lot of problems. It just probably is perceived that way by a lot of people. But I assure you I'm doing great. I'm doing fantastic. So, um, and it doesn't reflect on, you know, Dr. Gulpa or his work or anything like that. I mean, he, he did an amazing job on what I have right here. And I'm so grateful for that. But I want to be the person that lets you know that, it's not going to be smooth sailing once you get this done. There's going to be maintenance and, you know, possible issues. Dentures, no different. Teeth, no different. And you can either accept that and try to handle them as they come along. Or you can be like, you know what? I don't want to deal with that. And then 
it's not really going to get you anywhere. So, six minutes to tell you all that. How's that? You guys take care. <laughs>